Yes, yes, welcome to another video. Breaking news, Fernandinho has signed a one-year contract extension at the Manchester City Football Club. It's uh, it's massive news and, and it's it's gone on a little bit longer. So it, it tells me that maybe the club or, or Fernandinho have been really sort of thinking about this hard. It's not just been something that's like, yeah, yeah, buzzing, well, let's get it done. Like, it seems like, you know, Fernandinho's had to take his time and, and the club have as well. So it's interesting. We'll get into all the details. But before we do, guys, let's set a like tag. 1,000 is the target, so smash a thumbs up on the vid on the video in support of Fernandinho. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new, and I want to let you know about our sponsor today is the guys at One Football. Who are One Football? I hear you ask. One Football got an actual mega app, right? You can download it. Don't cost you a penny. The link's in the description. It's also the pinned comment, right? When you download it, it's free, by the way. Select City as your favourite team and you'll get all the City news directly to your phone. You know what I mean? You control the notifications. If you want all the notifications, boom. If you don't want any <laughs> notifications, boom. If you just want to go on there now and again and see what, you know, being talked about about City, the app is for you. And during the season, you get all sort of match results, live scores, team lineups, everything directly to your phone. It's mega. If you download it, you help support the channel and it doesn't cost you a penny. Right, Bray. Breaking news, what's your reaction, your instant reaction to this news of Fernandinho? I'm, uh, I'm buzzing, and I think all City fans should be buzzing as well. Um, I'll, I'll throw it back, though. I'll throw it back to the beginning of, of, of last season. Um, I thought he potentially was done. He'd spent a year at centre-back, and he had some good games at centre-back, I'll give him that. Sometimes he looked incredible there, and I was like, oh, yeah, look at this new position for him. But yeah. I didn't think we'd see him as a defensive mid anymore. I think... Uh, uh, after Project Restart, uh, after all the COVID stuff, we did see like one or two games. He didn't look the best at uh, set defensive mid. And then this season, mm. he's been smashing it and he's just shown... I, I feel I do genuinely feel like we lost a year of a very good... a world-class world CDM. Yeah. So, to gain another year, do you know what I mean? I, I'm, more, more, I'm all for it. His legs haven't gone yet. He, he, he proves me wrong week in, week out and he just shows why he's, he's one of the best footballers that has played for this football club. Yeah, I always think to myself, right... How much closer would we have been to Liverpool if Fernandinho would have just played in his natural position? You know what I mean? Instead yeah. of playing Fernandinho at centre back that year, I know our centre backs weren't great, but I just feel like we would have been we would have been a lot better with Fernandinho in the middle. I don't think we would have won the league, but I do think we would have been a little bit closer. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and I agree with you. I feel like we lost a year of Fernandinho when he played at centre back, but this year he's come back in and he smashed it. And my main concern was at the beginning of last season when I was like, mm, I don't know, you know what I mean, if this guy is going to be the one. Maybe we should let him go or whatever. My main concern was his legs are going to go and I don't want us to get roasted in a Champions League game or whatever. Or, you know, whatever. I, I don't want us to get roasted because Fernandinho's legs have gone in and he's basically useless, you know what I mean? Because he can't run around the pitch in the centre mid because that's why he's so good. He's so athletic. He gets up and down and helps out. But I quickly come to the realisation that he's so good that you've just got to accept that one day he will... <laughs> just, you know, just stop running on the pitch because his legs have gone. And, and with it, the yaya moment. Yeah, with the yaya moment. But he's so good, you've just got to accept it. But you've got to understand that one day you could be playing a game and it could be a huge game. It could be Champions League final. It could have been last day of the season in the Premier League. We need to win, you know what I mean? And his legs will just go. But he's so good. And what he'll give you over the course of a season, the full sort of nine months campaign, is, is miles better. And you just got to accept that that risk and it is a real risk because he's 36 years old going on 37 that you know his legs are, 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 he can't continue you know what I mean he's a freak but <laughs> all freaks you know what I mean the myth gets busted at some point you know what I mean and at some point he'll be playing a match and he'll just be he'll be miles off the pace and it will be sad to see bro but we've just got to accept that because he's so good I mean yeah the way the way you say that is perfect like it'll be sad to see that moment however I hope it'll be at a point where I can look back and say he's given so much over the course of a season that it doesn't really matter. Do you know what I mean, he's, he's given so much already. Mm. We all expect this moment to come sooner or later. Um, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited to have another year with him. Um, he, he really showed like captain ability actually this year, which is one thing I didn't. When he became captain, I know it was another vote by the players. I was yeah. a bit confused. I was a bit confused why it wasn't Kev. Um, I was vocal about that as well. I always said that, oh, I should have been Kev, should have been Kev kind of thing. But then I said that as the season went on, mm. uh, you, you kind of started to see why they think that. I know that when we was going through that tough period uh, before the West Brom game or after the West Brom game, I can't remember, uh, like around December and that, 
Um, Fernandinho called all the players into training before before like everyone was there and that, and had like a massive talk with them all, saying this is not how we play football, this is not how this should be and stuff, and really motivated the team into. Do you know what I mean? And after that, went on what the twenty one, twenty two, whatever it was, un, uh, unbeaten run. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then as, as well in the Champions League final, I think he's been big in that. Do you know what I mean, when he was speaking to Zinchenko, I think that's. I think he's just. He's a, he's a grey man when it comes to the to the captain, so you don't really see it too much. Mm. However, it's going on behind the scenes, and that Zinchenko moment when he when he was nearly getting carded or whatever, that was one of the times where it was came that the one out against PSG that? against PSG where yeah, Zinchenko yeah. was like going sick, and, and Fernandinho was like rain it in. You're not ruining. Yeah. You're not going to ruin this for this. He football. grabbed him, didn't he? You know what I mean? Yeah. He's done that to Mares in the past as well. I think in Mares' first season or something. Um, he must have given the ball away and he, he he goes mad like he will he doesn't care who you are you can be Kevin De Bruyne you know Mahrez star players but if you if you've done something slightly wrong Fernandinho will, will tell you and obviously he's such a good leader and I think the fact that the players voted for Fernandinho tells you a lot about what the players think about Fernandinho you know what I mean because as fans we were all like yeah Kevin De Bruyne Kevin De Bruyne obviously there were some people who thought Kev, uh, Fernandinho should have it but I think a lot of people were like oh Kevin De Bruyne give him captain's armband but obviously we're not there day to day in the dressing room yeah we don't see what it's like yeah we're not there on the pitch you know what I mean we're not there we don't know what's going on you know when when the going gets tough and Fernandinho I think the the more he's captain and the more you see from him, the more you understand, you know, why he's he's been given the captain's armband and the responsibility and the massive role of of basically leading that team out. And I was very glad that, you know, I mean, he got to lift the uh, the Premier League trophy. I know there was some talk about Aguero sort of sharing the lift, and that would have been nice. But at the same time, I think it would have sort of diluted a little bit of Fernandinho's importance and presence during this season where Aguero didn't really have much at all. And I think it's I think therefore it was probably nice that Fernandinho just got to lift it on his own. He didn't have to share nothing with no one, you know what I mean? Because yeah. at the end of the day, he deserves it. He's played a lot of football last season now, I guess. And um hopefully he can play a lot of season a lot of football this year. The good thing is obviously Rodri, you know, is still still trying to find his feet. I think he's learning the ropes still. Yeah, he? he's 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 done better last year than the year before. I'm still trying to get my head around the seasons. But I think, you know, he's, he's got someone very good to, to, to learn from, you know what I mean? And he's going to have to learn quick because this is probably going to be Fernandinho's last year. I can't see him staying at another year, you know what I mean? It's possible, but I don't I don't see it. So he's got a massive, massive role for, for Rodri this year. You know, he's got to learn and pick up why Fernandinho basically got the position back off Rodri, even though Rodri was doing OK. So... No, it's it's good news that he's staying. At least we don't have to sign another centre mid until next year. That, that, that's what I I don't actually think we will. I don't think we'll get a centre mid, a centre no, mid no. until next year. I know there's no Locatelli rumours. However, I think that's being pushed forward to Juventus now. I think he's like more close to that side of things. Um, one thing that I will say though is for everyone who's watching the video, put in the comments below uh, your favourite Fernandinho moment. That's mm. a good thing. To What's look your favourite Fernandinho moment, then, bro? You can't say that and then not give us your favourite Fernandinho. I know, moment. but now you've put me on the spot on it. They'll have time to think. I don't have time to think. Yeah, I think my favourite, bro, and you can you can agree with me if you want. But when we played Arsenal at home, he scored two, and I think one of them was a banger. Possibly two of them were back, both bangers, but Outside one of the them, box. yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they were they were mega. That that's probably mine. But he's a uh, you know, he's a fantastic player. I, I, you know, he goes in hard. He, he works hard. He, he's very much of the Zabaleta mould. You know what I mean? Yeah, he is. He so, is. He I, is. You know, I, you don't even have to be the best footballer in the world, but if you're of that type of player where you work really hard, you're clearly passionate. You know what I mean? The fans are gonna love you. It's just a fact. Um, but yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. You're happy with this, or would you, would you rather have let him go and got a replacement in? Let us know in the comment section below. Go check out the One Football app, guys. If you download it, you do massively help support the channel. It's free. It's mega, and you get all the city news in one place. Go check it out. Links in the description. Smash a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe as well if you're new. We'll see you in the next one. See you later.